Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. This is your sister, Sinead Turgenzo. I hope that everyone is having a wonderful Sunday afternoon so far. Well, it's still morning, but uh, however this found you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wanted to come forth and just do a brief share. Before I do that, I just wanted to mention, I know I shared my beauty bag. I think it was last week. Uh, but one of the products, well, I haven't tried all of them yet, but I wanted to try this one, the Luella Skin Food Lip Butter. It is so therapeutic for the lips. Very, very nice. So if you haven't heard about this, you might want to check it out. It's really nice. Very therapeutic. A lot of uh, essential oils um, to make, you know, the lips feel soft and moisturized, etc., etc. Anyway, that's not all that I wanted to come forth and talk about. I wanted to talk about a very essential uh, supplement that we don't have in our diet anymore, which has caused basically, even though we don't look like we're malnourished, but we are greatly malnourished as evidenced by the diseases that are coming forth now. We don't take this supplement a lot anymore, and if we do, we're not taking the right kind. So I wanted to come forth and share the missing link of um, vitamins and that is cod liver oil now this doesn't look like the one that my grandmother used to give me a long time ago and there are several different ones but cod liver oil has been around for ages and my grandmother didn't give it to us every day but we took it every week at least two or three times uh, and not a teaspoon, which is the recommendation dose of it, but maybe a regular spoonful of it. We had this. This is the one of the ones that uh, we took. We didn't really do a multivitamin until much, much later, but we did do what we call Father John, the cod liver oil, and the castor oil, and black drop, you know, those type of things. That's what I grew up with. But anyway, uh, I wanted to not necessarily bring it back, but just to remind us, um, the importance of it, of, you know, not only fish in our diet, but to make sure that we are consuming the right kind of fish oil, which is the cold water, wild, Alaskan, Norwegian type of um, fish, in particular, the liver, because the liver is full, full of essential fat-soluble vitamins that we are lacking in our diet not because we don't eat organ meats anymore like we should, but we don't know how to eat. But we need to make sure, as I mentioned, that the waters are clear and, and uh, cold water fish. And this particular one is the Alaskan wild caught, and it contains the EPA, the DHA, and the DPA. And it has some vitamin C in it for the taste and I guess better absorption. And it has the D and it has the vitamin A in it. Yes, this is an excellent source of vitamin D. So you want to make sure that D is included in it. Um, I don't take this on a day. Vitamin D is basically the only vitamin that I really take every day. But um, this I don't take every day, maybe on the weekends usually. Uh, and I keep it in the refrigerator. I try to get my kids to take it. It's not happening. Even with the um, capsules, it's not happening. But they will take some supplements with D3 in it. But this is an excellent source of D3. Specifically, if you take D3 and A, which is in here, and K2, which is in like fatty butter or grass-fed butter, uh, put that all, eat that all together, or your K2 MK7 form. Take all of that together for better absorption, and you get your essential, all your fatty, um, your fatty vitamins all together, which helps boost your immune system, uh, your heart health, your joint health, your vision, and so many other things. Um, it's a great antioxidant, you know, the vitamin A. And we do get that, but are we absorbing it? Are we taking all these together to make sure that they are well absorbed? So if you haven't checked out uh, cod liver oil or know about it, make sure that you get you some. This one is a little pricier. You can, cod liver oil is not cheap anyway, but this bottle here is about $30. Um, there, And I chose this one 
because it had the uh, the more certifications on it. It has, you know, organic, non-GMO on it. So um, this is why I chose this kind. Um, so you can check out other brands, of course, that have some of the same things, but make sure they have the certification, the third-party testing, um, the ocean steel on it there, and the other certifications as well. You can't really see those that good, but they are all there. So I wanted to make sure that I add this in. And the way I usually take it is that I, I'm going to go ahead and take it now. It's nothing like a demonstration. <laughs> but uh, let's see, I just shake it a little bit. Now you can shake it, but you know, just a little. Like I said, I keep it in the refrigerator. I don't take a regular spoon of it because I already take a D3 supplement and I eat pretty healthy. So you see the spout there so you don't spill it everywhere. And that's about a teaspoon right there. Not bad tasting. And then I love coffee, but I have to do, you know, decaf. And I make sure I put grass-fed butter in here, my, a little bit of MCT oil, some honey, and um, what else? cinnamon. And then I sip throughout the day, decaf coffee, organic, uh, good quality coffee. I usually like coconut milk. They didn't have that today, so I put oat milk in there. And as we know, K2 helps absorb your fat-soluble vitamins even better for good bone health. Uh, it helps absorb that calcium, that D3, and you need that vitamin E and D3 and, and K2 taken all together. And now, uh, another thing I wanted to mention also is the Green Pastures brand. I, I, I tried that, it was a while back, but that wasn't long lived. I think I took only one or two bottles of it. But um, the thing I wanted to mention about that without even realizing that I was doing it is that when I take my supplements, I make sure that I take my D3, my K2, my probiotic, and magnesium all together so that they can absorb better, you know, for bone health and helping absorb that calcium out of your soft tissues, out of your vessels, so that it can further improve, you know, your immune system, your bone health, your joint health, your vision, your cognitive ability. So that's sort of the Green Pastures uh, fermented cod liver oil with um, butter oil mixed in it, which is basically the same thing that I just did, but you can do for yourself as well. Because some people were saying, that it, when they tested it, it was rancid. But if you really think about it, probiotics kind of seem like it's rancid because it has all of this bacteria in it. Um, and a lot of people have gotten a lot of good results from taking fermented cod liver oil um, from green pastures for the cavities and for boosting their immune system. But as I just mentioned, you can kind of do it like I just did it. Um, I'm also gonna take a little probiotic with this i got this from um the farmer's market yesterday it's pickled okra and uh i love okra and okra is really good for you and um i haven't had her brand i know my grandmother used to do pickled okra but let me see it smells good let me see if hers is as good but i love pickled okra if i can get it out I have to put my fingers in it. Lady fingers. <laughs> mm. Oh. This is so good. I'm really, I'm not a salt person, so it's a little bit salty. But it's really good. I might have to eat this like with something that I don't really um, have a lot of salt in. But this is really good. Mm. Really good. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to go back and get a bigger jar. 
but that's the way I take my B3 on my um, car liver oil to make sure I take those things with it to make sure that it's absorbed better. So I just wanted to come forth and share that. If you didn't know, now you know. Get your car liver oil. Let's go back to some of the ancient ways that we grew up with so we can maintain good health, good immune systems, good vision. And me being the age I am, which is in my mid-50s, I think I'm doing pretty good, not bragging about it, but just sharing as evidence and encouragement that just because you're in your mid-50s, you don't have to be sick, you don't have to have diabetes, you don't have to have hypertension, you don't have to take medicine. You can do healing, you can do medicine the Ayurvedic way. Ayurvedic meaning whole body, includes your whole body. The way you eat, the foods you consume um, is very, very critical because we don't eat the way that we used to. Our soil is not even the same but we can do the best that we can with what we have, which is what I'm doing. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city, and I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.